good morning my dear i hope you all are fine students last time i discussed frame seat today i am going to explain what is border and border color for that first of all i will go to notepad and i have to write one html document first i will use html 8 title now here you have to give the title of the web page frame set contains border and border color attributes slash title now here i am going to use the frame set again because i have to show you i have to show you the border and border color so first of all you have to know what is border and border color just now you can see what is a border this attribute of frame set tag defines the width of the border of each frame just to wait let me now now what is border this attribute of frame set tags defines the width of border of each frame it means what if i am having my frames in this way then the border that you have of your frame this one even you have the inner border that also yes that width we are going to define by the help of border remember i discussed the border tag attribute in the table tag what is the role of border to specify the width of your table that means four corners and even inside if you have the border that border you want to define it you can use by the help of a border attribute same we can apply here also now the next one is border color now you can see these are the areas you want to fill with which color yes that color you have to define in the border color attribute of the frame set now calls and rows already you are knowing once more i am going to explain my dear the call attributes is used to create vertical frames in web browser it means if i have this web page and in this i have to create the frames in the vertical way then this will be called as columns it means i have a frame which is divide frame set which is divided in three parts frame 1 frame 2 and frame 3 but when i am talking about the rows then the horizontal way suppose this is my web page now in that i want to have the concept of frames in row manners that means in the horizontal way so this will be called as rows having your frames in horizontal way 
now let me come to the html document where i have to yes explain the border and border color now first i will work with my frame set now frame set now what will be the column that i have to if i have the three columns then i must have to give the dimension what will be the yes yeah, so width of those columns and that will be in percentage if suppose 25 percent next one also 25 percent and the last one 50 percent is up to you my dear that how you want if I want 30, 10, and 60 ratio, I can do it. It is up to me. To which frame I want to prefer more. That will have more width. Now, after doing this, I will use double quote and I will close it. But here I am not going to use border and border color. Later on, I will discuss this topic. First, let me complete it. Now, the first frame that I am going to use, frame name equal to left, SRC equal to, now you have to search the location. I have kept in download folder. Yeah, river. I will click the right mouse button. I will go to properties, copy the location. And the file is river.jpg. You must have to remember. River.jpg. Now the second frame, same way you will write. It will be at the center. So you will write center here. Now source is what? That you have to search it. New year. I'm going to take the properties, copy the location, name of the file is new year.jpg. Slash new year.jpg. I will close it. Now the last frame that will be placed at the right. Source equal to Image one. I will go to properties of this one. I will copy this one. And I must have to know the extension. It is JPG. So JPG image dot JPG. See, if it is located in the same location, your all the files, no need to go every time. But to let you yes understand how you can go and copy the location yes due to that i have used this one several times otherwise if it is located in the same location only one time you copy it only you remember the, remember the file and paste 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 three times now my three frames already done now i will close the frame set but I must have to use the no frame because if your web browser doesn't support frame set, then anyhow the message has to be displayed on the web page. Remember about the image, same here also. So I will use here no frame. And here I will write this web browser is not supported and then slash no frames now my work is over I will use here, wait, 
I have to define this one inside the body, my dear. And now the STM and my work is completed. I'm going to save it. New frame dot HTML. This is the file which I have kept on the desktop. You can see the location desktop. Now I have saved. Now I have to search. Where is my new frame? So for, yeah, you can see it is available here on the desktop. You can see it. So I'm going to explore this one. Now you can see now the third one has not been shown. It means that somewhere I have given the wrong location or the file name. Let me check it. Downloads. Sorry. It is image one. You see, I did the mistake. And what the output has shown, the third frame has not been shown. You see, it is image one. And I have written image. Just you see the output. Yes, here your first is shown. You see, first one is shown. Your first frame is shown. Your second frame is also shown. Third one not shown. Why? Because I have given the wrong name, wrong file name. So I have to correct it. I have to write image1.jpg. Let me save and now let me reload it. Now it has come. It has come. My first one. You see, it is having the scroll bar. You can scroll it. In this one also having. And later on, you want to change the size, resize it, you can do it. Later on, manually, you can do it. Understood? But what I define as per that, it will show at first on the web browser. And later on, it is up to you whether you want to resize it or not. You can do it. It is up to you. Now, see, just now you watch, my dear. You are having the concept of border. You have the border. You have the border. But I want, no, it should have more border. Even the border color is not defined. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I will use inside the frame set because border and border color, they both are the part of frame set tag. So first I will write a border. Border equal to 50. Okay. I'm going to save my dear. And now let me reload it. Now just now you watch it. Your frame has been increased. <clears throat> if you want more, okay, so that you can understand it, I'm using 45. Just now you see, watch it carefully, my dear. Just after the scroll bar, you will see, this is the border. This is the border. This is the border, my dear. Now, I already increased the border, but I want to no. know my border color should be changed. So for that, again, I have to go back to the same HTML document and add border color attribute. Now, what the color you want to define? I want this one as red. Okay. Now save the file. And reload it. Now, clearly you can know it. My border color has been changed. Earlier, whatever the color was, it has been replaced by a new color. And what is that color? Red. Now, I want to define this one as green. Green also you can use it. Just you watch it. Your red will be changed into green. So it is up to you. Horizontal way border color, vertical way border color, if you want to change it, it is up to you. But your border and border color should be 
the part of frame set. You see, my dear, just now I'm going to show again. Here I have done in column way. Now in row ways, what I will do. Instead of this, I will write here what? Rows. Instead of left, what I will write? Top. Instead of center, what I will write? Main. Instead of right, what I will write? Bottom. And now, now it will be shown earlier it was showing in this way. Your frames like this way. Now it will be shown like this way. First row, second row, third row. And this border and border color will be changed. Just watch it. Just to watch it. Earlier it was columns. Your frames were shown in columns. But now you see your rows are shown. That means your frames are now shown in horizontal fashion like this way. So I hope you have understood these all topics, my dear. Thank you, my dear.